Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming back for another figure opening video today. Today, we are opening up the very festive Hatsune Miku Christmas 2020 figure that came out actually a few months ago. We've had this a little while, but now is the season to open it. So, let's kick things off by taking a look at the box. As always, we have our Seigo and Hatsune Miku logos up here at the top. These are always on the Miku figures. We have Miku taking up the whole front there, holding onto a big white sack there, being Santa this year. Uh, we've got some lovely stars kind of hanging in the background. And then down here in the middle, we have Hatsune Miku Christmas 2020 and our SPM Super Premium logo for the figure. We also have our Jaya Prize logo down here in red, uh, probably because it's more festive. Red matches the theme a bit better, um, but yeah. And on the side over here, we don't really have much. We have our Super Premium logo there and we have a nice silhouette here for Miku in gold. There's some kind of nice patterns here. There's stars, some dots going up the edge. There's this nice kind of round bit here and a few kind of danglies like these baubles. On the other side, we have pretty much the same thing, plus her hand from this picture here. So this is just one big image. You probably could cut this up and unfold it to make one nice picture, which actually would be pretty cool. Maybe we could do that later. And then on the back, we just have all of our safety information. And we've seen all of this before. There's a lot of Japanese. There's our QR code for Sega Plaza prizes. And then instructions on how to put her together. So her hair looks like it's separated as always. And we have a few supports for her hair to hold them up so that they don't sag. So um, yeah, it's kind of cool. At the bottom down here, we just have Hatsune Miku Christmas 2020. And then on the top, we have the exact same thing, just with a bit of blue. So let's get this open. Okay, and in with our knife. So yes, we won this in Tokyo. It was one of those nights where I thought I was going to stream. Um, and I didn't because my, well... My confidence just had a bit of a weird kind of knock. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy that we got her because Christmas is finally here. Kind of like the only good thing that's happened this year. <laughs> um, let's get her open. And as we can see, we have some plastic casing here. Um, oh, wow. Um, okay, this looks really cheap plastic. Uh, okay. Hello, Miku. Oh, wow, you're heavy. Wow, you're very heavy. Um, okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I really want to comment on this. This plastic holding the figure into, well, into it, like the support here, is really, really cheap. Um, anyway, we're going to throw it away anyway, so give me one second. I need to just unpack all this. Okay, stand. And here is our stand. And as we can see, our stand is opaque. We can see some shadow behind it. It is this very, very odd kind of like oblong shape. It's kind of odd. Um, we have four holes, two at the sides, two in the middle. These are going to be for the feet, and these are going to be for the supports, and I will show you those very quickly now. Um, we have these two little plastic things, so those will hold her hair. And then we also have this nice kind of little star pattern with a few kind of white balls, a little bit Christmassy, a little bit showy. Um, I'm not... I shouldn't really complain, but already I'm thinking this is going to take up way too much space on my shelf, but we will wait and see. On the reverse, as we can see, there is a little bit of information down there. And we have art by K. Now, K has done some art before for our figures. So definitely go check out their Twitter. You'll probably see a lot of cool art there. Um, I will leave a link somewhere below around here, um, if I remember. I'm sure I remind myself now. <laughs> um, and then we have our Sega Made in China, along with our Krypton Future Media Inc. and so on. But okay, let's put down our stand. And here is our Christmas Miku herself, and already looking very, very cute. She does have this little bit of plastic here, which was stopping the bag from rubbing on her dress, which is oh, pretty clever. Kind of doesn't get any red on the bag. But we do also have her hair, which we need to get in. So let's do that together. We have one piece here, which is well, actually quite chunky, rather large. And that goes into here as so. So push that in. Um, it's quite a tight fit, actually, so that fits quite nicely. And then we also have this one over here with a little bit of a nick to it. So we will push that into this hole over here. And then hopefully that will go in quite nicely. There we go. All right, let's kick things off by taking a look at her face. Okay, so as we can see, she has these beautiful turquoisey eyes. These are both looking off to the side, which is a little bit different than normal. Her nose does stick out a little bit there and she does have a beautiful smile on her face there. Also, I've just realized I'm not wearing gloves, so uh, this will be one episode where I don't wear gloves. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, but she has a very, very adorable smile there. A little bit of teeth showing too, so a bit of detail. 
She also has a black choker on her neck with a gold star, which is a kind of cool addition. Um, very different from Miku. We can see that her hair is split down the sides. Uh, these are actually very, very sharp, um, very, very pointy. And she has one piece in the middle here, so we can see both of her eyes, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's a fair bit of detail here too, so I just want to point that out as well. And then both of her hair comes down into two very long strands. There are a few little bits that kind of stick off over here. Um, one bit kind of very maneuverable, so that could catch on something. Um, it's kind of thin this time, not a ton of detail, kind of plasticky, but again, that's not a bad thing. I mean, it is Miku. Miku's always good. Um, over on this side, we have it split into two parts and the third little part kind of sticking off here too. So that's kind of cool. We can also see that on the top of her head, we, she has these four little white kind of like poms, these little white balls. Um, these are holding her hair together, so it's probably connected up here to look nice and Christmassy. I'll be honest, these look really cheap and like not much thought has gone into it. These look much worse than previous years, so a bit of a disappointment, but oh, it looks alright anyway. And then her hair is split at the back here, and there is again a little bit of kind of printing area there, so looks like something has got on it. But that is her head, let's move down her body. So as we can see, she's wearing this red and white shawl. Again, this does have the Santa kind of Christmassy motif to it. Again, it's got that kind of fluffy look at the top and the bottom here, and it does feel a little bit cheap. Same with this little tie in the middle where it's kind of in a bow and some little dangly bits hanging down here. This just kind of looks a little bit cheapish. Um, at a distance, I think if it's gonna be standing on your shelf, it's not gonna look so bad because you're not gonna be looking especially at the detail. But this is definitely prize quality, uh, prize figure quality, so it's not the best. We can also see that she has this white fluffy bit here on her wrist. This is connected to her glove. Again, her glove doesn't look very practical. It's just kind of cut off at the ends. Um, you can probably see it a little bit better over here. Um, it looks interesting. I've never seen a glove like this. I don't know what you're keeping warm because um, it's definitely not your hands. But yeah, it's kind of fluffy there. If we turn it around, we could see on the back there uh, without giving you a pants shot and with the focus improving, there's a little bow and that her fingers are all separated with some kind of like blue turquoisey paint there. Maybe if I turn it upside down like so, you can probably see that a little bit better. <laughs> the problem is the hair is right in the way, so it's kind of tough. Um, so some of her fingers there have been painted, like her nails. So that's kind of cool. And we can also see she's wearing a red Santa dress. Now, I think probably the nicest part here is it's a little bit darker up the top here, just a tiny bit. Um, we can also see that she has this really nice looking belt on. Um, this looks like it's got a fair bit of detail to it, which is cool. And this actually has a lot of nice little ruffles to it. Now, it's not just random kind of bumps like we have seen on a few of these figures. This actually looks kind of cool. And the way the lighting is in this room, it actually looks like there's a kind of nice amount of shading going on here. So that's pretty cool. We can also see on the back, she has this big white sack here. Um, which she's holding on to, which would probably hold presents. As you can see, these are kind of random shapes too, so this probably has random presents inside it. Again, the quality seems kind of cheap. This plastic is a lot shinier than the rest of the plastic, so it's probably some kind of PVC. Um, yeah, not so great. Honestly, they could have done that a little bit better, I feel. And then just finally on this dress, I want to point out again, it has this nice kind of fluffiness going around the outside, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's move down her legs. As we can see, she's wearing thigh-high stockings. And again, of course, these go up to her thigh. These are quite tight here, so it actually looks as though it is pulling in on her leg. Although this kind of looks a tiny bit cheap too, which is, again, a shame. It really is a shame. Um, this color, very creamy color, um, kind of goes down like so. And then we have our nice red boots at the bottom here. You can see that the laces have nicely been detailed, which is kind of cool. Uh, this foot also has two points sticking out, which will go into the stand. And then over here, this one is kicking up and we can actually see what the sole kind of looks like from underneath. So yeah, not a ton of detail, but actually the boots are probably one of the best parts of this figure. <laughs> um, but there you go. Now, before I get her in her stand, I do want to give you all a quick pan shot. So let's have a look. If you do want to skip the pan shot, please skip to the time somewhere down below as yeah, you don't have to be here for that. So let's take a look. So as we could see, she's just wearing white pants up there. Um, there actually are a few folds to it. You can actually see her belly button up there as well. And from reverse, you can probably see a few more kind of bigger folds there. So actually it looks a lot more realistic from behind. Um, yeah, kind of nice looking pants. Okay, we've done our pants shot. Now we need to get her into her stand. So one second. And here is our figure in her stand. And as we can see, we have these two clear plastic supports here, which actually fit into her hair in those two different points just so it doesn't sag and fall over the years. 
because we have seen that in some of these figures before. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Let me give you all a few pretty shots of this figure. So, let's take a look. Okay, so let's go and put her on the shelf. So as we can see, we have our Christmas tree up over here. <laughs> um, we are gonna have to open the door very, very carefully because my cat over there, if you can see her, hello, she will want to escape, so we're not doing that. <laughs> so Miku, we're going into the figure room. Let's have a look, see. But yeah, this is actually quite a nice figure. And she goes very nicely, I think, with a lot of the kind of like Christmassy Miku figures that we've had in the past and our Christmassy Rem from last year. She is going to go up here for now, um, and unfortunately, she is sticking off a little bit, but this stand is huge, so it's kind of very impractical. <laughs> but there you go, that is our 2020 Super Premium Miku figure. So thank you all for tuning in, and hey everyone, Merry Christmas. I really do hope that you will have a wonderful day. This Christmas is probably going to be very different to most Christmases that we've had ever. So um, yeah, next year things will hopefully go back to some kind of normal. Uh, please do tune back in soon because I want to do my top 10 figures from this year because, wow, we got a lot. We got so many, we actually needed to get extra shelves. So, uh, yeah, we have not really... Well, we have not really got much time to do that, so I need to get that done soon. So, love you all, and I'll see you in a new video coming very, very soon. Okay, bye! Thank you.